Hello my Pisces and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie. Welcome to Libra season. Interesting times as always. We're also having a full moon on the 29th and I've done an overview video Justice Wins so it's an interesting time. Now please take a moment to take a peek at that. Also remember these are general readings may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I kind of getting this Things are changing quickly. Think There's good news on its way. Celebratory type of energy for you. I feel very positive with the energies. And I feel like the news is going to come quickly. Whatever it is, it's good news and or it's, it's a good vibe. And it's very quick. It's very quick. So I, I don't know if that's somebody waiting for their promotion. Waiting, you know, is that, you know, does somebody say that checks in the mail? Well, maybe it is now. But I just feel like things, it's, it's very, it's very quickly, it's a quick turnover. How's that? And it's good. It's a good quick turnover. A good, good vibes, good news. Anyway, let's see what we've got going on here for our Pisces higher power. What do you want to say? Yeah, I'm kind of getting that Knight of Swords energy and that Three of Water energy. So here we go. Let's see what we've got for our Pisces. One two and three nothing reversed first card queen of earth has been popping up in a lot of the readings and i think even in the overview the queen of earth was there so queen's underlying energy is our uh, water energy your energy cancer and scorpio fluid emotional very spiritual energy but earth energy is our capricorn taurus and virgo money job career um home energy you know, the basic with the Queen of Earth, I feel like I've been, it's like, uh, you know, I've been shuffling these cards. The Queen of Earth, she takes care of herself in order for her to take care of others. She's a very loving energy and she is not, you know, but she does know the importance of being secure. So if she feels secure, she can help others too. So it's a really, it's just interesting how much she's been coming up. So if you cross watch and you see her, um, you know, there could be a lot of validation with this queen of earth. This woman loves, uh, this is a feminine energy, loves um, her, um, her creature comforts. She likes to be taken care of, but she is not, so, I shouldn't say she likes to be taken care of. That's wrong. She likes to take care of her own needs. Okay. That, yeah, it's wrong. She doesn't want to be taken care of. She wants to make sure that she takes care of herself. Now, Again, you can be male or female, it doesn't matter. It's this part of us that's this independent part of us that says, I will get done what I need to get done, okay? So the Queen of Earth is thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So she, she you know, besides being sensible, she's not reactive. She's not going to go rush in. She's going to take care of herself. And then once she knows that she's done what she needs to do for that, she's going to then be able to take care of others. Next card is the Ace of Earth. So this is money coming in. This is a new opportunity coming in. Ace is a one, new beginning, new start. Earth again, money, job, career. This is, like I said, something switching. Is that check in the mail? Um, you know, it, it's like you're waiting for this. You're waiting for a switch. You know, I know I've had a couple of switches. I've had a couple of turnarounds. But this is, again, this is an influx. This is money coming in. This is a new opportunity that, again, brings you a really good opportunity, brings you more money coming in. This is dreams come true. This is your, your wish comes true. So the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. Important documents or contracts. So you may be, may be having to sign that. I don't do financial um, advice or, you know, I'm not legal. So you might, you might want to make sure you're getting that taken care of and reviewed by the people that know that better than me. Okay. But this is, this is a really interesting combination because in order for the queen to take care of herself, she has to have money coming in. So... And I know we're in a very weird time with money and I keep getting very, I keep getting a lot of just, when I do just private readings for, you know, for myself, others, I get a lot of justice and I get, I get a couple of times this money coming in. Here we go. 
the chariot. So now we have a seven. So we have a one, seven, seven, one. So the seven is a divine umbrella, divine over, you know, covering. This is Archangel Metatron, who is believed to be Enoch um, before the flood. This is, you know, walked, talked with God, and then was no more, was transfixed into the heavens. The chariot talks about promotion. The chariot talks about trusting God, trusting higher power. You know, the chariot is about hands off the wheel. The chariot is also something happens extremely quickly. Something happens faster than expected. So whatever this is going on, it, you know, maybe you thought you still had a couple of months. Maybe a bonus is coming in and you thought you had a couple of months before it was coming in. It comes in sooner than later. Okay, very quick. So here we go. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower public recognition but again the chariot always has fast energy for me okay it means something's happening quicker than you know sooner than later okay let's see what we have now so we have a 1771 i mean it's a very positive vibe for my pisces okay now somebody else in the air energy's got this this is a chakra energy. Six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into a something itself. Now, this is the third eye chakra. This is the, um, you know, we have the, the, the one through the six, through the seven, seven being your crown connecting to God's source. The chakra, the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra is your intuition, is your intuitive abilities. So just as like, you know, when you're praying, you're using your Seventh, you're using your crown chakra to send your messages. The sixth, the third eye chakra is the receiving of those messages, uh, is receiving of the intuition, okay? So you want to kind of, with this, you want to trust your gut. Now, you want to also make sure that you stay in a balanced manner because being too open, you can be just flooded. You could just be flooded with... Um, you know, with hallucinations or, you know, you might not want to even get out of bed because it's just so overwhelming, the messages you're receiving. If it's too tight, you could be very strict. You could be a very dogmatic. So you want to try to work on keeping it level and keeping it open. And, you know, sometimes I'll just like tap it three times. And, you know, sometimes I'll say, you know, release, 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 relieve, relieve, relieve. I'll say also, um, you know, um, some, I wanted to, you know, release the negativity. I wanted to accept you, the energize. So I'll say energize, energize, energize. Okay. Third eye chakra, increased intuition, increased intuition. Now, interesting here with you. Okay. Let's see what else we've got going on for our Pisces, Pisces, angels of abundance. What do we have for our Pisces? One, seven, six, six, seven, one. Here we go influx okay those cards are popping down there can we get to that card come on i want to get to that card here we go let's see come on card here we go okay reversed an abundance mindset remember my pisces you are the manifester you are the magician energy if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Now, I'm not telling you to max out your credit cards, okay? I'm not telling you to do that, but you kind of you know it's coming today. It's coming today. It's coming today. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is our... Um, angel gemstone for our Pisces. What do we have for our Pisces? Angel gemstone. Carry with us. Carry our Pisces. Carry where? Hold on to. Manifest. Meditate with. For Pisces. Pisces. Yeah, there's abundance all written all over here. Okay, now. Scorpio just got this one. You saw that I shuffled, but Scorpio got this. So this is the Angel of Clarity. So if you cross watch and you have Scorpio in your um, sign, you might want to pay a little attention to this one. 
Clear Quartz, who which one I love very much. This is Are You Trying to Gain Clarity? Now this would be opening up that help to open up that third eye also. Do things seem hazy and dark right now? Is your path unclear or uncertain? Well, my Pisces, you have some deep, um, you know, your, your little fishy goes very deep. Go within to see the positive in all circumstances. Focus on the matter at hand. Maintain loving thoughts surrounding your current life situation. Manifest, manifest. Angel of Clarity. I see my life situation clearly and from a greater perspective. I am focused in all that I do and I am lovingly conscious in every action I take. I proceed with a greater understanding of what is required of me. I do love clear quartz. Now remember, the full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. That tells me that people will be emotional. So we need to try to calm down a little bit. But uh, I don't know how you're going to calm down. That, 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 that earth energy is very fast, very fast. And that third eye energy is kind of like you knew it. You knew it. Trust, you know, again, there's a trust your intuition energy with that. There's the abundance mindset. There is the clarity. Interesting stuff for you. Next thing. Oh, didn't want to shuffle. Okay. And that one, well, didn't want to shuffle, but that's the one that popped out. So we're just going to take it. Okay. First quarter moon in Leo. Hmm. Be humble. Interesting. How does that affect this? Be humble, my Pisces. Ooh. Is there going to be a reason that you that you might not be humble? All right. So my Pisces, interesting as always. I love my Pisces energies. Please take that moment to like, share, subscribe, clicking on that bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me also. As always, though, my Pisces, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.